Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liesa and I'm talking about books and today I wanted to discuss a book that I finished last week and it's called Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. So I know I mentioned this book before in my haul that I did last week also and I've gotten through it really quickly and I'd love to share my opinion because I love this book and I know that you're gonna love it too if and I'm gonna tell you why. So let's get into it. So I picked this book up randomly, I didn't really know what it was about, so I judged only by the cover and only by the description. So uh, Fangirl is a book about Kath and Ren. Kath and Ren are twin sisters that are going off to college and um, the story is focusing on Kath. So Kath is a really shy girl who loves fan fiction and she is moving into college and she has to live with a new unfamiliar roommate because her sister wants to go and live her own life for a time. This book starts with what Kath is experiencing and I love this book because it was a very nice smooth read and also if you read Harry Potter and you loved it you will love this book for sure. Why? Because Kath is a fan fiction writer and she's writing her own fiction on a series of books that are also made up and they're a really big thing in the book and they're called Simon, Snow and etc like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire so it's Simon, Snow and blah 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 so uh, she's writing a, a fan fiction and she's writing Slash which means that uh, she's pairing off two male characters and she is really shipping them hard and it really was fun to read because we follow her story as she's studying in college and then we uh, follow the story of her characters because we get excerpts from the Simon Snow novels and from the fin fan fictions that she is writing herself. So as a person who was very involved in the Harry Potter community when the books were going out and as a person who also wrote fan fiction in the past, I was really digging this book. So, if you're not a fan of Harry Potter, you're also going to love this book for different reasons. First of all, this is a great example of what young adult books should really be like. Um, I'm not very familiar with the genre, but adult, young adult books usually are very one-sided, but this one is about development and about uh, staying away from what you've all known all your life uh, when you move into a new house when you move into a new area and you know no one and you feel uncomfortable and that feeling when you have to decide who you want to hang out with how you want to proceed with life and what kind of classes you want to take in college and if you want to follow through with them or if you feel like giving up the book explores all of that so if you are feeling uncertain if you don't know what you need what you want if you need to pick me up this book is definitely gonna make you feel better not only about yourself, but also about your life in the big sense. Because it did that for me. It focused not only on the relationship of Kath with all the other uh, people inside the book, there was also a very nice love story and love interest in the book. And aside from that, it explored sibling relationships, like two twin sisters and how they want to be different from one another, but at the same time they want to be close. It also touches up on important subjects like addiction. Relationships with parents are really a big topic in the book here also. So it so happens that Kath and Ren uh, were abandoned by their mom when they were still little and they live with their dad until they move to college. Kudos to Rainbow because she's amazing. She pulled this book off marvelously. She went through a big preparation phase where she was reading fan fiction and she was inspired by Harry Potter and the books that are quoted in here, the Simon Snow novels, uh, they're not like Harry Potter book copies or anything, they're solid worlds. So it's not like you're reading excerpts from Harry Potter but it's another mystery magic world that has different relationships but has lots of similarities and that's what's so amazing about it. Another really cool thing I think you should know is that Rainbow Rowell is writing a book now which is going to come out very soon, I think in November, if not the end of October. No, I think it's October really. Uh, it's going to be called Carry On. 
So uh, this is not the sequel to the fangirl, not quite. Uh, Kath in this book is working on a major work of art, her fanfic that's called Carry On Simon, which is a very very popular piece of fan fiction. And basically she is doing her best to complete it before the last Simon Snow book is out so that she can finish off her story. And uh, the book that's gonna come out is also called Carry On and it's... Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a book that Kath wrote. I'm not sure if that's going to be the exact fanfiction piece. I think it's going to be something different and a bit new. But it's gonna be very exciting to uh, read because it's going to be a fantasy world which kind of reminds you of Harry Potter but also the characters are so vivid and of course when you read the excerpts from the fan fiction here you could... I could hear in my head Harry and Draco if they would be thrown into the circumstances like in this book this is probably what would have happened like you know that that friendship that Harry and Draco never could have because they were such strong enemies. So yeah, this book is really awesome in that way. You get to explore worlds and relationships you never thought would be real. Another thing about the young adult book genre and fangirl in particular is the love stories. And the love stories are very... Um, it's very well developed in here. Uh, so the characters are advancing slowly and as most of teenage girls that just go into adult life Kath isn't really sure about what love is, how she feels about somebody, how she feels about herself and this is a very uh, fragile moment in her life when she's starting to meet a lot of new people and she has to handle all the pressure and this is another thing that I think you would really love if you read this book. If you read the fangirl book already, please let me know down in the comments below how did you like the book and are you going to be reading the Carry On book, which is based on the Simon Snow world. Thank you for tuning in for this review of Fangirl. If you like this review, please subscribe and like this video because I am uh, doing book reviews very often and I really love reading, so if you have the same taste in books, I'd love for you to join me. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!